Yeah, let's talk about game day and does it change the schedule or what it means or not means, that kind of thing? Game's really late. I hate it at 9 o'clock. you got to go all day, but we'll shoot around a bit later. Um, we'll probably have the team go down there at some point for 15, 20 minutes during the morning um, so they're not laying around all, all day. But, you know, they'll do that, and then we'll get ready to play a really good basketball team. How important is the guard matchup you talked about? You know, your guys, obviously, good timing to have them play a little bit better in that last Yeah, game. it is. But, you know, everybody's trying again. The biggest game we have is the next one. It's all we have to worry about. I'm still in the same mode. I got a new team. How do we get better? How do we figure out how this team has to play to be at our best? You know, they're, they're talking, the, the funny thing that everybody's talking about, the NCAA tournament, did you all know it was a bell curve? It's a bell curve. It is not, well, you're not good, so you're not in. He's not, he's not in. It may be 20 teams from this year's tournament that wouldn't have got in last year's. Wouldn't have got in the tournament. It's a bell curve. We just got to take care of business, play our bet, get better, play game to game, not worry about what's going on around us, and do our thing. I'm not worried about all that stuff. I just laugh when I'm hearing all this, the biggest game, you got to win every game. Was anybody else out there like this or just Kentucky? I mean, it's just, you know, I try to keep it away from the guys. Just, just play basketball, get better. Ryan said his hands were sweaty before he came to your office to ask you to start again. Could you tell he was nervous? Yeah, a little bit. But, you know, the, the only thing they know, you can't come in BSing me because I've heard it all. And that scares them. Like, they can't come in with excuses or cop-outs, and that's scary. Because you're coming in, you got to tell the truth. And if you try to BS, your hands start sweating. <laughs> I mean, it's just how it is. And they know, don't, you don't, I've heard it all. I've coached every level, every kind. I've heard everything. You're not BSing me. You want to come in here and talk the truth? Talk. Let's hear it. And then I'm honest with them. They, again, I tell you, everybody wants you to keep it real with them because that's how they want to be treated. Be honest and keep it real until you keep it real with them. Then it's like, man, just keep it real with him. Don't keep it real with me. I need you to pump me up and make me feel better because I don't really don't feel any confidence. And I think you can't. That's not how this works. Um, this isn't a kumbaya staff. That's not what this is. So, yeah, how much did you guys need uh, some positive feedback? As you got we needed something good to happen. We need to continue to have good things to happen. You know, I loved, I loved Willie's statement, and I was just told by Dwayne, and Dwayne gets things wrong, so he may have got this wrong, but he said that Willie said, as long as everybody does their thing, I can do my thing. But you can't just throw me the ball after you don't want to make a play and say, go ahead, do something. I can't play that way. I'm not ready for that yet. But if you all do your thing, I'll do my thing. Well, guess what? That's what we've been begging, but guys. I need my point guard to play that way. But I need Archie and Alex and Kyle and Jared. We need them all. Julius, we need them all to play that way. So that everybody just do what you do will be fine. What's happened is you got a couple guys that don't want to show for a game and expect this guy, that guy, and then throw him the ball and put it on him. Or I don't want to take the shot, so I'll give it to the worst guy on the court shooting the ball because I don't want it. We can't play that way. And that's why I said when somebody came in and watched us, said your team looks tentative. The guy that came in and said, man, I love the energy in the building. The same guy came then two weeks later, three weeks, they looked tentative. Yeah, after getting smoked twice and you're this young and you start questioning yourself, you're going to be ten tentative. And that's why we did the stuff we did. And, and, and you know, again, I'm, I'm not changing the path, trying to get better. This is not life or death or you die all the time. This is not the end all game. It's a big game because it's the next one on our schedule. But guess what? After this one, the next game's a big game because it's the next one on the schedule. But, you know, like I said, there's a, there's a lot of teams out there right now trying to find themselves. Because um, Willie's not going to go get the offensive rebounds that Nerlens is going to get where you wanted to keep him near the rim and, and would just make them stay home. And that opened up the lane for us. They don't play Willie that way. So getting Willie in the, up and spaced and out where he can be more effective is uh, what we needed to do so that our rim would be open again. Uh, without him, you know, they, being that wide, you're not getting to the rim at all. So we just wanted to space the court and see. Again, when you do that, your players have to make plays. So. Cal, how important is 
Pressy to what they do and what kind of challenges? He's great. He's great. He's a great player. He's really effective and efficient. Uh, doesn't turn it over that much. Goes in that lane and finds people. Um, he can score it when he needs to, but his whole thing is I'm going to get in here and I'll drive baseline and hit that corner. I'll drive right and throw it over my left shoulder and I'll hit a guy on the weak side for a three. Um, defensively, if you're lazy or loose or, or, or cute with the ball, he's taking the ball from you. He's just taking it from you. He plays like a, that six foot, six foot one guard plays. He's just, you know, the, that's what he does. You have a guy that can stay in front of him? Yeah, I, I think our guards will be fine. It's just, it's a challenge. And then it's a challenge for him to stay in front of our guards if the court's open and they want to attack and play. Um, there's no excuse now not, the court, court's open, get by him. Well, he's getting by you, get by him. You know, it's not, he's putting you in pick and rolls, put him in pick and rolls. So it's, it's the basic thing is you got to take everything off the table, play. And we have no excuses, no cop outs, no one wants to hear play. You have an opportunity, you, we have enough, we're a good enough team, we're just going to have to play. Archie said just now that he would take his point guard over Phil Preston. Is that a statement of the team? Believing Probably trying to build up our guy just to tell him, look, I'm with you. And, and I would expect him to say that. I'm happy he said it, but uh, Pressy's really good. Ryan said he thought he grew up a little bit. He'd come and sit there and with his sweaty palms and ask you for something that was hard to ask for. Well, you know, I just want him to continue to grow on the basketball court. He's, you know, you, you, you learn through these tough experiences. You start growing as a person. I said after the game, um, I've been spoiled for eight years. You know, you're winning 30-some games a year for – not a year, like eight. And then you're going through what we were going through, no point guard, all the stuff. And then you're waking up with some anxiety. That should be a good feeling. It's a good feeling. There's – Thousands of coaches out of the business would love to feel that feeling in the morning. You're feeling, be grateful. And so there, there's a lot of learning for all of us through this stuff. But bottom line is, are we improving? Are we getting better? This is the next challenge. If you want something good to happen, you're going to have to make it happen because this team is not, this team attacks the glass. If we ball watch, you get beat. You have no chance of beating them. If you, don't, if you don't physically check out, if you're ball watching, they're sending three. Um, you know, if you're not down in the stance ready to play, they got two or three guys that can break you down on the dribble, not just their point. Um, you know, if you're not physical in the post, you're going to get chucked. You better, you better be down and ready. This, this is a, they're a good team. They're top, you know, they've been top 20 most of the year. They lost a couple road games. They kind of did what we did a couple years ago where we couldn't win a road game. And uh, they're coming into this, this game and, you know, with the idea we got to change our fortunes and we're trying to do the same. So it should be, two teams should be fighting each other. That's what it should be. Kyle, how's your wiffle ball swing? No, I don't know what we're going to do. We may do something we not, may not. I'm going to watch practice and figure out, you know, that was a, something that we did and whether we'll do it again, I don't know. I mean, it's just, you get a feel for stuff and you just say, hey, let's try something different. But, um, you know. We won't go bowling, I'll promise you that. <laughs> what, what about Oriaki? And I know he considered here when he transferred. Yeah. Did you think you had him? I mean, how close did no, you No, I met with he and his family. Met with, he's a great kid, great, and uh, terrific basketball player, really physical and tough. Has made them, you know, without him, they're not the same team. Without him, you know, they're, they're not where they are right now. So it was a great pickup for Frank. and. Uh, um, you know, I just watched their Florida game. They're they're a good team. They're good. They they ball. They're not afraid. They'll fight. They'll battle. Uh, they'll make tough plays. They got more than one player that can make a play, so they don't have to run plays to make baskets. They have players that make plays, so they're good.